Ways of the Wild Institute up here in Vermont. And this is a continuation of my uh, poisonous plant series uh, that I began a couple weeks ago. And uh, the, uh, the plant we're going to discuss today is, um, uh, is another alien, an escaped plant from the uh, European countries. And uh, <clears throat> nowadays you can find it uh, scattered here and there throughout um, the New England states, um, as well as uh, other areas of the East Coast in uh, America, where people have uh, planted it in their gardens. Most of the time you will only find it in people's yards. However, uh, on occasion you will find this plant growing along uh, roadsides and abandoned fields, farmland, things like that. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful plant, but it is, um, it's an extremely dangerous plant as far as poisons go. So let's take a look at it. The plant we're going to discuss is called foxglove. It's a uh, foxglove that happens to be in bloom. Uh, now foxglove blooms uh, usually from uh, June all the way through uh, August. Now the first thing we'll look at here is the leaves, because the leaves are what people uh, have a tendency to uh, mistake uh, for some other plants in the spring before the flowers come out. Uh, one of the plants that uh, foxglove can slightly resemble when it's very young is uh, comfrey. Uh, now comfrey is a very medicinal plant that uh, you can make a very medicinal uh, and healthy tea from. However, many people have uh, mistaken foxglove and comfrey, made tea from foxglove, and uh, killed themselves. So these leaves, you can see, are quite long. Um, quite long indeed. You look at the, the length of this leaf to my hand. Some of these leaves can grow up to a foot long. All right, they're not very wide. And if you look, I mean, the leaf itself is about four inches wide, but they can grow about 12 inches in length. And they're, um, they're kind of like um, ginger leaves in the fact that they are um, kind of woolly uh, in nature. All right, they're, they're very soft. You see the underside of the leaf is very pale with very prominent pale veins and the upper side is this really bright medium green with recessed veins. You'll notice they are tapered and the outsides are wavy. They don't have sharp teeth, they have wavy teeth. You can also see on this leaf if you follow it down that the top of the stem is hollow like a U. So the stems are not flat, and they are not round, they are U-shaped. And on the same note, on the bottom side of these stems, you'll notice that they do have, the bottom of the U is jutted out. And the leaf actually travels down the stem on the side, see, a nice flat leaf. Now if you take a look at the base of the plant, you'll notice that the stalks of the leaves, if you can see there, are also uh, very woolly. Okay? They have uh, thick white hair growing on them. And you'll notice that all the leaves come out in quite a cluster. All right? You don't have one stem coming up with the leaves coming off the stem. You have a whole bunch of leaves clustering right out of the ground. And then you notice this stalk, whoops, and you'll notice in the center of this uh, leaf cluster that comes up, you've got this very rigid, very hard stalk right here that is not hairy. It is smooth and it is ribbed. All right, so you can feel um, vertical ribs running all the way around it. And you'll also notice that the leaves come off the stem in a spiral pattern. See, this leaf here is coming off on this side, the next leaf is coming off on this side. The next leaf's coming off behind it, so it spirals all the way up the stem. This is a biennial, all right? Every other year it will come up. However, it does seed, and so you will have succession plants. And so you, if you have foxglove in an area, you will notice that there are always plants there. But the plants do rotate, and they come up every other year. This plant can grow up to about six feet tall. Uh, they can grow quite large. 
And, like I said, in June you will notice that the flower buds come out on these tall stalks. Stalks come up, and you'll notice that the leaves grow, okay? All the way up here, even out of the, uh, behind the flowers, you'll see the tiny leaves still growing. So the leaves grow all the way up the stem. And the flowers can range from uh, purple to white. And you'll notice on the inside, they have spots. All right, this is the foxglove flower. It's a beautiful flower. And before they're open all the way, you see they look like uh, little slippers or feet. And at the very top of the stem, you'll see a little cluster of leaves and flower buds because this will continue to grow throughout the season, which means it will continue to pop up more and more flowers and leaves as it gets taller. Numerous um, species of foxglove, they're all deadly poisonous, okay? They're an extremely lethal plant. The entire plant is toxic. That means the roots, the stem, the leaves, the flower buds, the flowers, okay? Um, the seeds, everything. The upper leaves, right, these little small ones up here, these are some of the most potent leaves on the entire plant, all right? Uh, if you just take one of those leaves and you take one small bite, that would be enough to kill you dead. Just like that, all right? It's that simple. This plant is lethal. You need to avoid handling this plant as much as possible, all right? I'm aware of this. I'm handling the plant but immediately afterwards, I'm going to wash my hands really good, all right? I pay attention while I'm handling this, not to put my hands anywhere near my mouth. <clears throat> so do not confuse this plant with anything else, okay? Um, just by nibbling a small piece of leaf from this plant can cause all kinds of issues. Um, uh, cardiac issues as well as um, uh, physiological issues. Um, you'll have uh, uh, vomiting and hallucinations. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, nausea and diarrhea, convulsions. Um, it can either increase or decrease the heart rate depending on the um, the dose of the uh, toxin that you consume, as well as the strength of the individual heart that it's attacking. Um, so it can uh, it can give you um, obviously a heart attack. <clears throat> uh, it can also uh, end up giving you uh, uh, the tremors, um, extreme fevers, chills. Um, all this can be um, a very quick onset after consuming just a tiny bit of this plant. Covers the foxglove, uh, all species of foxglove. Um, just remember, you know, the plant kingdom contains some of the most potent and dangerous poisons known to this planet. Right. Foxglove contains one of those poisons. This is White Wolf, I'm here at Ways of the Wild Institute in Vermont. If you have any questions about any of my videos, anything that I teach, feel free to email, email me at uh, firewolfways at gmail.com. You can also visit my website at waysofthewildinstitute.com. Check out what we do up here. Um, you can Check out my uh, Facebook fan page. Uh, I post a whole bunch of uh, interactive things on there. Uh, pretty soon I'll probably be posting a, um, uh, a type of uh, video challenge um, that will include uh, prizes, either uh, learning CDs that I have or free classes. Uh, so stay, uh, stay tuned and I'll keep you posted on that uh, the closer it gets. Uh, and if you uh, want to learn any of this stuff uh, hands-on, check out uh, what I teach all the different classes and workshops, we'd love to see you up here. All right, Willa Mollison, be well and happy.